Hey, what's up guys? So welcome back to episode 13 of the how to make a plant vs zombie style of game in Unity. And, and last episode, we actually saw a small example of how, sorry, let me turn this game volume off, where it is, a new video, here you go. So last episode, we actually found a way to actually animate the sunflower. So in today's video, we are actually gonna try and implement it using other types of plant as well and then also link it with our scripts although we perhaps don't need that because that's always gonna run so let's get started so firstly most important step is to actually go and skin each sorry go and skin each plant object so just like we've done last episode So yeah, just like we've done last episode, we'll actually have to skin this. So again, Sprite Editor and Skinning Editor. And once we are here, what we can do is add the bones and all, just like we've done in last episode. So let's just do that. So we'll go on Create Bone. I think I've already done that. Yeah, I think I've already done that in previous episode. So that's nice. So generate. Let's just duplicate this. Control Z Z and put that back here. Duplicate that. So this one is for the P shooter. And let's just assign the P shooter as sprite here. And let's just then delete all of these empty references. So how much there is? For 33. Okay. Here you go. Wait. Put that here and I just create bullets. Here you go. And that should be it. And this should also be it. Good. Now that this is working, we do rebind. Animator is a sunflower again. So, as you can see, the animation is playing on this one as well. Of course, we can also modify it if we want, but for us, that's good. So, now what you'll do is to repeat the animation for all the plants that we have. All right, it could be different animations also, doesn't matter. So, that, uh, once we've got this, oops, not that, here you go. What we can do is we'll have to actually modify the prefabs so let's just drag a plant prefab here and because if we just we cannot just uh, apply the animation on this one instead what we'll we have to do is to actually one way of doing it basically would be to instantiate the plant object right there so let's just get this sunflower back and i'll just show you an example right now we set everything so it becomes of it be it is the same size basically and let's just disable this and disable the uh, sprite render on this one so let's just say that we have to spawn a sunflower then what we can do is to either instantiate or just enable the sunflower object and that's that is just the visual that we are changing swapping out and oops where is it basically yeah 
so that's one way of doing things so let's just go that route for today's episode because this is just a small one all right prefab and a overrides apply all here you go now let's just delete this one from here I just head back to uh, the scripts plant manager and here let's just have let's just create a new class so here is system dot serializable public class plant object be sure and in here let's just have a public string name and a public game object object or plant object All right and once that's done what we can do is to have it here as a public list of plant visual object not object visual I just have it as objects or plant objects visual and over here in start method mm, wait let's just go under the uh, the plant scriptable object where is it uh, scripts plant scriptable object where it is plant manager plant card scriptable object here it is now just have a public string name All right so this will be a reference to this one and given that this also has oh no wait what um, oh sorry that's the plant manager uh, the game manager we need the plant manager here you go so then here what we'll do is uh, wait yeah we'll find that one so let's just public game object plant visual right visual so what we'll do is we'll actually assign the plant visual using the name so I just do a for each loop here we can we will look at optimizing all of this in later episodes don't worry this is just the basic foundation laid out so if see so here if the item dot name equals to let's just have it to lower equals to the uh, this so dot name dot to lower so this is now case insensitive all right so if these two equals to then we can assign the plant visual so plant visual equals to item dot plant object and then we'll do plant visual dot game dot set active set active as true and then uh, what we'll do is just um, break out of the loop and that's about it so for now we only have two uh, two basic animations for the plant obviously when you will animate other plant objects you'll have more prefabs more objects that you can add so once we've come here to the plant object let's select plant object make sure sprite renderer is disabled under plant object you can see uh, is a plant object visual let's just lock it here and grab these two sunflower mp shooter and oops sorry click on add and add 
let's just create two new entries call this one sun flower call this one p shooter repeat the steps for any other plants that you have and then drag and drop the corresponding game objects here into that once that's done unlock it and head back here now let's just go back to our <coughs> scriptable object on the plant cards and here is sunflower so I just write sunflower and here is the pea shooter pea shooter all right and let's just make sure that this is written exactly as we've referenced it in the prefab so um, here you go here it is pea shooter now let's just play it and see how it goes so we'll take all four plants let's rock and let's just put that as you can see it plays let's just take that as you can see it plays and obviously now as you can see there is more bug it also plays when we are actually moving the plant which is not a desired consequence so let's just head back to the scripting here uh, this one all right Uh, let's just have it here again Let, uh, let's just have the visual here then let's just go back to the animator where is it so uh, prefabs plant object and select the sunflower here what we can do is select the sunflower and head to the animator window here and right here let's just maximize this and let's just have a new state empty set as default layer state and then make a transition here and here let's just have a boolean called drag or drop all right so now let's just select this arrow here and let's just disable all of these disable fixed duration set that to zero and next state here conditions is drop equals to true now copy uh, this head back here to the plant manager and just have a, a public string mm, dropped name Oops. dropped now what we'll do is here will come down here let's just have a new i enumerator public i enumerator wait until dropped yield return just type below here return new wait until follow the same format wait until is dragging equals to false and once that equals to false, we'll do if plant visual not equals to default. Alright, so we are basically just checking whether or not it's null. If it is not null, then we'll do plant visual dot get component is the animator component that we want to access dot set bool Oops. set boolean and now here we want to pass in two parameters first one is name of the boolean that we want which is dropped and then let's just have it true sorry let's say variable name dropped and true so once that's done head back to unity save everything and now let's just play and see if it works so let's just take all four plants and as you can see it doesn't move when we do
what to actually call the coroutine here. So let's just come here and do this uh, wait until drop. My bad. So wait until dropped. Now everything should be working just fine. Hopefully. So let's just take these two, place one of them. As you can see, it's not moving. When we do release it, however, it starts moving. Same thing for the pea shooter. And you can repeat these steps for every other plants that you have. All right, as you can see, it just moves. And yeah, so that's all for today's episode, guys. So again, this is just a small one. Uh, please do let me know what you want me to do next. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you have not already. And uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.